Hey guys, it's another great day here in the AR Custom Knives Knife Shop as the FedEx man recently dropped off a package I've been waiting for and though I only ordered it about three days ago uh, it is something that I've been trying to find for a very long time uh, for a few months now ever since I started heat treating my own 1095 blades and researching the best way to do that and how to get the best results and uh, one thing that came up quite a bit in the conversations that I studied uh, was a product called Parks Number no. 50 Quench Oil. And uh, the advantages to this oil, without getting into too much detail about it, uh, just real quickly, it does approach the quenching speed of a water or a brine solution, uh, which is very desirable for getting the most out of 1095 and similar steels and uh, getting the most hardness out of that from your quench. So uh, it's something I have been trying to find for quite some time. Uh, I was able to finally find a couple distributors and uh, one that I was able to go with in Fort Worth, Texas. I'll give you some more information on that momentarily. Uh, but I'm just going to show you the product really quick. Uh, I'm not going to open the bucket yet as I'm not ready to use it. Uh, but it did come in a double walled cardboard box. Uh, containing just this bucket and some paperwork which was taped to the top uh, including your technical data sheet which simply gives uh, information such as characteristics uh, equipment operation control safety and disposal uh, it comes with the MSDS or the material safety data sheet as well uh, and these are two things that I definitely uh, highly recommend familiarizing yourself with uh, if you're using this particular product or really any other kind of chemical or corrosive agent, uh, you really need to understand the ingredients, uh, how it is used, how it is supposed to be used, uh, the safe way to use it, and the safe way to dispose of it when needed. Uh, this could really save your life under certain circumstances with certain products, uh, if not save you a lot of headache uh, and lost money if you were to improperly dispose of it or improperly use it. So uh, that's just a quick word of advice. Uh, do familiarize yourself when uh, applicable to the MSDS or the technical data sheets for products that you're using. Uh, as far as where I got this, uh, this is something that's been increasingly hard to find over the last few years from what I understand. Uh, something that used to be a lot more widely accessible and available, uh, both directly from the manufacturer as well as from knife suppliers or individual knife makers. Uh, seems that in recent years the problem has come up uh, where the company itself that manufactures this uh, really only wants to deal with larger companies or corporations uh, and they really don't want to sell anything under a 55 gallon barrel minimum. Uh, and this stuff is pretty expensive per gallon uh, so it's definitely something that's cost prohibitive for the average knife maker uh, whether full time or especially part time or a hobbyist. Uh, you could easily spend upwards of $1,000 for a barrel of this stuff. Uh, not only that, but 55 gallons is way more than enough for any one knife maker to ever need to use. Uh, even if you were doing this full time, uh, quenching 100 blades a day, uh, I really don't think you would use it very quickly. Uh, honestly, I don't have the exact specifics on uh, shelf life or uh, how many uses per blade or per quench this will give me uh, at this time. Uh, but I do know that $1,000 worth of 55 gallons of the stuff is just really excessive. Uh, and it's definitely not anything that I wanted to uh, invest in. Uh, I know some guys have tried to get uh, maybe 10 or 12 guys together to go in on a barrel in the past uh, in various knife forms, and that does work out from time to time. Uh, I was really not interested in doing that. I really wanted to get just a gallon to five gallons for myself. Uh, and like I said, I was able to find one distributor initially uh, who would deal on an individual basis with small quantities of five-gallon buckets. Uh, his name, as many of you may know uh, from other discussions or maybe from doing business with him yourself, uh, he's very well-respected and well-known in the knife community or the knife-making community. Uh, he does distribute uh, various knife making products himself, such as steels, uh, powdered steels, uh, and some other quenching oils, and uh, I believe some other things as well, but his name is Kelly Couples, K-E-L-L-Y-C-U-P-P-L-E-S, 
and he resides up in Yamaka, Washington. And uh, I did correspond with him briefly uh, asking about the supply he had on hand as well as the uh, overall cost, including freight. And uh, he wanted about $135 for five gallons, uh, which really isn't very unreasonable uh, in my opinion. Uh, that seemed to be the going price uh, for anywhere else that I was able to find that used to carry it uh, in five-gallon buckets. So uh, it really wasn't a problem to pay that much for me. Uh, but the problem came with the freight from Washington to Indiana. Uh, it ended up being about $50 uh, for a UPS freight. And uh, that was really just a little bit more than I was able to uh, swing uh, at the time, as it would have come out to about $200 or just under that uh, for the entire order. So uh, what I decided to do was try to hold out and find a closer distributor or uh, just another option uh, for uh, finding the product. And uh, I was very fortunate that a thread in the Knife Dogs heat treating forum was actually started right about the time I was corresponding with Kelly. Uh, and a knife maker from that forum had actually found a company in Fort Worth, Texas that had recently started carrying Parks 50 uh, and was able to get that. Uh, now I will say that uh, it appears they are carrying it on an as needed basis. Uh, so they really don't have a supply on hand at all times from what I understand. Uh, but it seems that they are willing to get it and to deal with it in small quantities to individual uh, customers, uh, even, I think, if they don't have enough to pay for the whole 55 gallons uh, all at once that I believe uh, Parks requires. Uh, but the company that uh, I ordered it from and that I'm talking about right now is called Maxim Oil, and they are located, again, in Fort Worth, Texas, uh, which is much closer for me uh, than Washington. The freight costs were quite a bit lower. Uh, and they actually also offer it uh, just about at cost, from what I understand from some calculations I've seen from another knife maker. Uh, so they're even cheaper than Kelly Couples, uh, which is not necessarily a huge selling point for me uh, when one place is cheaper than the next. Uh, it really comes out to reputation and customer service. Uh, and just to uh, throw this in passing, uh, from what I understand from other knife makers who have dealt with Kelly, uh, he is a really good uh, person to deal with, a great businessman, uh, and really fulfills all of his orders, all of his obligations and promises uh, to his customers. And uh, from what I understand, uh, he couldn't be any more pleasant to deal with uh, than he is. And uh, a lot of people that uh, go to him for his steel or from time to time his quenching oils uh, really have nothing but good things to say about him from what I have seen or talked to other knife makers about. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Uh, I'm definitely not trying to outsell one company over the others. Uh, and I really don't have ties to either for that matter. Uh, so just something in passing. Uh, but I do want to give you Maxim Oil's contact information real quickly. Again, that's Maxim Oil, M-A-X-I-M, -M, from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, this is the phone number that I contacted, 817-293-4-O-I-L. And I spoke with Carla, and she gave me the price of $72.50 plus tax and freight for five gallons of Park 50. Uh, which they did currently have in stock when I called. Uh, that may be different in the future. Uh, prices may be different as well. Uh, I can't really speak for them. Uh, but what I paid uh, just after shipping and tax was right under $112, uh, which was just phenomenal uh, for what I got. I'm very excited to start putting this to use and uh, seeing what kind of results I can get from it. So uh, hopefully this was informative. Uh, if you're looking for Parks 50 yourself, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the box below or send me a personal message. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already, and there are plenty more knife-making-related videos to come. And have a great day.